Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 17 that is logging frameworks in Selenium web server in csharp.net. So in this lecture you will learn why logging is important and logging uh, what is the framework that we are going to use. So logging is uh, important because based upon the logs you can find out what is the exact uh, cause of the problems that may occur when the test execution uh, is finished or you can also troubleshoot the any problems very easily based upon the logs or the log information because in the logs you can also get the timestamp and extra information about the application status so in a uh, selenium and in c sharp dot net what uh, we are going to do is we are going to use one framework called as log for net and for that you will need to install this particular package from the nugget package manager so do so go to that package manager and then install this log for net package and after that what you have to do is you have to go to properties and then click on assembly info.cs over there you have to add this particular line it tells that uh, this log uh, for net uh, this configuration is being stored in the app.config so after adding that line you have to go to app.config and over there you need to add this section in the config sections element so over here you have to put log for net and then type is this one and after that you have to add this particular element log for it over there we have specified level is equal to all it means that log all the messages like messages are of the various types uh, types of the uh, labels messages can be of various uh, level levels each message has got a label uh, for example info ordering fatal error etc so here you can specify what kinds of messages you want to log so when you say all it means that all types of messages will be logged then appender uh, references so here you have to give the appender reference like to which appender you want to uh, put that message in so you can log the messages on the console in the file in database etc in this case what we have done is we have specified this appender my appender and over there we have uh, specified that it is a console appender it means that messages will be locked on the console and you can also give the pattern as well like in which format you want to log the messages date label logger the message and new line so in this format the messages will be logged now to use this particular log for net in your tests what you have to do is in your uh, test class you need to create this uh, instance of this type i log and using this particular syntax after that uh, you can use this log object to access this info or uh, methods to log the messages of that type for example this will log the message of type information this will log the message of the type warning and similarly you can use this particular uh, like statements to add any extra logging information in your code so that uh, in the trouble file troubleshooting it will be easy to understand what the problem is now if you run this particular code what will happen is it will print these log messages in the console log so if you go to output you can notice that this timestamp is printed then the message type is also printed info or then it also prints which class uh, this message has been printed and actual message that is printed and if you use the console lot right line this is how your the output looks like it doesn't uh, show the timestamp and it uh, also doesn't show which class that message has come from so that's why this uh, logging framework is really important it tells you exactly if, uh, in which class the problem has occurred and at what timestamp so that is how you can use the logging framework in uh, your .NET project. That ends our lecture number 17 that is logging framework. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and stay tuned for more lectures on Selenium.